Niggas, it's certain OGs, niggas is mad. They really not trying to give us no reviews on it. Because mm -hmm. motherfuckers really don't like mess, but I brought mess back. You mm -hmm. dig what I'm saying? Yeah. I fuck with my own and we got over it. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a lot of shit out with motherfuckers ain't trying to tilt that hat, but I guarantee it'd be a classic. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's number four, started in 98, 2018. Yeah. We put the conundrum behind us because we want to show that it was bigger and better than that. Yeah. For the fans. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, and, and Marv is hella talented. Like I say, I found out about him when I was fucking with him. Mm -hmm. You know, it got so much to the point, people would come to me talking about him, and I'll say, don't say nothing about him to me, because when you see him, you're going to try to do the same thing. That's weak. Right. He just taught me, you know, what I get from him is that I would advise everybody not to battle rap if, that, if that's not your character. It, yeah. it threw me for a loop. Right. He got me. Yeah. And he was over there high and dropping records and shit, and he, <laughs> you know. You know, because I know you said there was three on this is just a series, you know what I mean? Well, what's different about this one? Uh, it's supposed to be more four. Uh, shit, both of us, but Mark gonna try to say he's 38, but I'm busting him out, he's 42, I'm 40, you dig what I'm saying? We, we older, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, we older. When we did the first one in 1998, it was niggas that was putting our shit out that was balling. And we really come from drug dealing and transporting work and money and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I ain't never killed an ant though, you dig know what I'm saying? I ain't never been around no murder. I'm just saying this. I'm not telling on myself, but the dudes that was fucking with us had us back and forth to Kansas City, shit like that. You dig know what I'm saying? Somebody put us on. And then more, we built up a name when we did part two. And part two was phenomenal because we sat down with each other. Then part three was with Jack and Huss, which was good. Yeah. We sat down again. And then part four is significant because we came back together through the bullshit that we was he was going through. Right. But I did that because I would go to his funeral. Mm -hmm. So I say, since he alive, let me re re reconnect with my guy yeah. and do this shit and admire him for who he is. You did? Yeah. He got his little conundrums with niggas and shit like that, but that's my partner. I'm the one who put him in the game. Yeah. What was that that first uh, initial meetup like after, you know what I mean? I thought, I thought the nigga was still crazy when we first came around each other. Mm -hmm. He was that uh, <laughs> right. serious. I don't know if he was acting or what, but. You know, we sat down with each other. We didn't leave each other's sight for like three months. Mm -hmm. I told him, you know, he bigger than a lot of shit he be worried about. But Marv come from a different life than me. I come from a good family home. And you know, his family really wasn't there for him. So I understand it. You yeah. dig what I'm saying? Right. But he's my brother. Right. You dig what I'm saying? He, he got a good heart. He's just been betrayed a lot. Yes. He did. Yeah. You know? And the only other thing is like, people don't agree with the blood shit in my neighborhood. Yeah, but he's his own man, you know, through him moving around and shit like that. So I grew to respect him, you know what I'm saying, yeah. for, for what he do. Because his blood's all over the country, just not in field mode. Yeah. You know, ain't none of us doing that. But I got past it because yeah. the fans weren't tripping on that shit. Right. That's what we was really into it about so because I had to speak up on that. Yeah. From the penitentiary, I got a call, like, telling me I ain't supposed to be doing that. Yeah. Same dude told me, you need to get back with him and do the music. So. It's for the music. New generation out here, especially with niggas like Mozzie that led the, with the the battle rap, the fuck you. Everybody's kind of doing that. If you listen to everybody's music, that's kind of where it's going right now. I know you just said you don't. Remember, you know, I told you I'll say something sack deserved to be on when I was on there. That was yeah. before Mozzie really had got on. But I had fucked with Mozzie before that through Really Real. Yeah. My Mexican partner out there in, um, in, in, in Oak Park. Okay. Film through Thiz Latin. Yeah. Uh, my, me and Mozzie did a video. I was out there with the whole P. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And I did a host of the mixtape for him, just like I fuck with Lab. Yeah. I ain't in between the ghetto, the street politics. Mm -hmm. But since Mozzie been on, he ain't, he ain't came back and fuck with me like that. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I definitely was in the peak fucking with him. Right. And I fuck with Lab. You dig what I'm saying? It took him to Empire. I'm, I'm with all of it. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? But with the gangbang culture, that's how it is out here. Like, you dig what I'm saying? I ain't with that shit everywhere because. It's just end up, somebody end up getting killed, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we need hip-hop to be positive in order to be the economic power that it needs to be in Northern California. Right. You feel what I'm saying? We yeah. need the white people and the, the powers that be to respect it. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. And say, don't use my event as a platform for violence. Yeah. Or shooting at the shows and shit like that. It might happen in the streets, but, you know, it'd be good if we could coexist with each other and get some real money, right. you know? See everybody out at the hardcore arena working together, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be I did a song with June. I, I know it was big. I've been wanting to work with her. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to work with him because I ain't in no beat. Yeah. I, I want to see Lavish D on too. You dig what I'm saying? And Mozzie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Lavish is close to us because we being family. Yeah. And then we be saying Uptown, that's like stars up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was out there on the radio dealing with them because of G and them. Yeah. But I'm not in your gang war. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? Don't move on a weaker hand. Don't make other uh, affiliates. Yeah. I was in Oak Park with my p pumpkin on display. Right. Doing that song with Mozzie, fucking with Lil Tim then. Yeah. And I fuck with Filthy and them. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? They told me Lil Tim had to change his verse when I said mine. <laughs> Yeah, see, the type of interview I do. Yeah. But I respect him because all in L.A., man, that boy, he I knew he could spit when I heard it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and he represented hard, and he really represented rap music. Yeah. And he got a heart, so even if he never do another song with me, I will always refer to the one we did together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and give him give him his props. Yes, so. And I'm proud of Lavish, too, because he came home just rapping. Yeah. The reason why I mentioned him together because I, you know, that, that's what it is. It's good to see when you ask me who deserve to be on the sack now. Sack got some shit rolling. Right. This time. I'm about man. to get jumped in the sack gang when I leave here. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking with you. Talk about some of like the San Francisco politics that's been going on. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of artists out, you know, interviewing a lot of them, and they've just been everybody. It seemed like there's some kind of something going on as far as like politic wise and niggas not fucking with each other can you speak on that or i think niggas true? is just arrogant i grew up in an area where we fuck with or everybody fuck with everybody mm -hmm. so you dig what i'm saying and coming together it's like you know uh niggas don't know how to coexist with each other that's why they ain't about no real money mm -hmm. they get a couple million views and think they hot the hottest nigga ever you dig what i'm right. saying because they're using a measuring stick to a nigga down the street but you need to use your measuring stick against amigos you know what I'm saying? The niggas on the other side of America, not the nigga from down the street. Right. You know what I'm saying? And learn how to coexist and separate shit from Sean Nola. Let, let, let hip-hop be hip-hop. Yeah. I mean, I got a hip-hop past. Yeah. My friends is gangsters. If I was affiliated by address, a nigga would have been killed me by now. Mm -hmm. Because my friends, they, they, you know, they get down. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I'm affiliated. I don't go nowhere else, but I never was riding around with my hammer acting like I was with that situation, even though I don't go to enemy neighborhoods and sit down and say, I don't fuck with them niggas. Yeah. I'm from the shit. Right. But I don't, I, 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 I stayed rapping. I didn't do nothing to jeopardize my helmet. Right. Yeah, a lot of these niggas ain't really did nothing to jeopardize their helmet, really. The killing ain't like it was when I was growing up, but nigga, it's all this internet shit. Right. When niggas saying a lot of egos. Right. When you can coexist with other men for uh, currency, that's when you take it to another level. Right. That's why Atlanta is very successful, because it ain't gonna be no bullshit at the, at the situation. Mm -hmm. And the radio stations is fucking with it, and the consumer is there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The powers that be fuck with it to where it's big. Yeah. As long as we keep acting like we got that barrier, the powers that be won't fuck with it, so we won't get those major investors like we're supposed to. Right. But I want to whoop Black's ass, though. <laughs> me, and Corey again, fix it, Black, me and Corey fix it. We down with the rap shack. You've been talking to I'm going to tell him right now. Watch Speak how you use their name, man. That's yeah. all it was about. Speak on it. Dress the elephant in the room, ain't you? Man, look, man. Corey <laughs> called me yelling, talking about why I'm sweating this dude Black. I say, man, dude, they stood me up two times. Corey said, I'm coming down there. I got Mozzie. I got the stars. I got Del Paso Heights, nigga. He said he had everybody. You feel what I'm saying? So I, I, I emailed him a white flag. <laughs> Come on, man. Nah, you know I'm gonna make light of it. Nah. I mean, when I was seeing you, you, you felt where I was coming from. I did. And then to, to reinforce what I'm saying to you, that's why I ain't gonna fuck with them other people because I shouldn't have to reach out how I did. I yeah. mean, you was going out and you was there, you was passionate about it. Right. Now it's time to show some type of loyalty. Yeah. That's why I gave you an exclusive interview and said I was going through what I'm going through. I ain't gonna say this to nobody else. Yeah. We gotta make this shit fresh. We gotta dress it up and make it right and then support our own. Yeah. You take the constructive criticism good. If somebody play with my name, I'll be on them about you. Because yeah. a good name is all we got. Yeah. I'm a starving artist. You guys, all I got is my name. Elijah Muhammad said that a good name is better than gold. Yeah. You know once you hear a nigga, he got AIDS. He a snitch. Yeah. You hear that one time about a nigga. Anybody, yeah. Bro brought one nigga up, a rapper from around here, right? Mm -hmm. And I heard something about it. I ain't got no whole shit on my file. Under the gun, I didn't... Can, no, please don't kill me. I didn't did that. You dig yeah. what I'm saying? But ain't nobody never slapped me in my face, went through my pockets without me getting right back on right, right. You dig what I'm saying? Right. And I don't mind rolling on the ground with you getting my lip busted and not eating soft for two or three weeks. You right. dig what I'm saying about my manhood, but I ain't never been a bully because yeah. I was an underdog, so I treated everybody with respect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because and, and that, that's what I want. You yeah. dig what I'm saying? I didn't have no big brother. I had to be scared of the drug dealers in my neighborhood. I said, once I get a name, I'm going to shake everybody in because everybody's somebody. Yeah. The worst nigga is a nigga that's trying to figure out how to be cool with a nigga that hit the lottery. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, you weren't fucking with him, then he hit the lottery, now you, nah, you can't quit talking about it. Exactly. That happened to Millie Mill in Meadowview. Sure. Right? He hit he, th <laughs> he hit a Thunder Valley. Nobody talking about it. He hit for the million. Niggas on my block, they didn't stop talking about it until he spent his last couple dollars. Right. 
Nah, I mean, I and Melly got a house, I ain't saying it like that, but he know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like my family, him and Jita, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Much love to the Heights. I've been out here, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So, the, he's an example of how a motherfucker jump on you when you got something going, so why not treat everybody with respect from the game?